This is my 200 amps welding machine. Let's measure the output voltage. It is 79 volts DC, very high and extremely dangerous. So this is my 220 volts, 2000 watts incandescent bulb and you can see that it is glowing. Although the brightness is less because the voltage that I'm giving from the welding machine is not 220, it is only 79 volts. So now this is a 220 volts permanent magnet DC motor that I am testing. Also friends, if you are planning for JE mains and chemistry is giving you nightmares, I would recommend this Chem Squad channel by Anchal Arora. Her daily detailed lessons are going to help you a lot in this. Channel link will be provided in the description, you can check it out. So coming back to the experiment. You can see that the torque is good, although the speed is low, but still it is useful. Now this is a 180 volts permanent magnet treadmill DC motor. You can see the flywheel and here I'm running it and it is uh, running quite smooth. Again, not at full speed because uh, the voltage is lesser than the rated, but it is uh, running. Here you can see that after connecting the motor, the voltage is only 65 volts so it has dropped and this is a cnc motor 40 volts dc and uh, this is like almost perfect for running this with the welding machine like 40 volts and 65 volts not much higher voltage so it is close to the rated so this motor is right now working closest to its best efficiency Now this is a 24 volts mini DC motor, again permanent magnet. Now this is a 24 volts RO pump motor and uh, this is also running perfectly. I've placed this uh, pulley and here you have the close up. The motor is 24 volts uh, designed to run for very long durations and it is running quite good. Now this is a 24 volts motor high RPM and uh, to the shaft of it I have connected this a drill chuck pretty big drill chuck now this is extremely dangerous so here i'm going to remove this motor and instead of uh, this connect another identical motor without uh, the drill chuck Finally, here I have this uh, universal motor from a washing machine, again 220 volts. Now this is a 26.7 amps, 24 volts, 500 watts permanent magnet DC motor with 4 brush system that is for high current motors and it's for an e-bike.
Now this is a drill machine motor, quite small in size. It's 220 volts and I'm running it at 65 volts. So such a low RPM is what we can see here. So guys, that's all for this experimental video for using our welding machine as an SMPS power supply high current.